much you're going to be able to hear me. 25 to 35 miles an hour. That's been our home all day. Flashers on, 17 miles an hour on the hill. Transfer cases growling because there's no gear oil left in it, we figured out. Power steering pump boiled over. But we're uh, 35 miles from the shop. So we're just crossing our fingers and we can make it over the last couple of little hills here. So I'll update you guys in a minute. And know that emergency brake light is not a problem. The e-brake handle has a switch on it and the switch is broke. So the light stays on all the time. The brake is not on. Do not comment. The brake is not on. All right, we're going up the hill. I'll let you know here in a minute. All right, here we go. Locking uh, about 22 miles an hour. Got the hood vents up. I thought that would make it cooler. Not really. We're running about 230 degrees. About 200 on the trans stem. She's angry. She's gonna make it. All right, that's the first of, well, not the first. This is the second to last hill. The first of the last two. If that's not confusing enough. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Alright. I'll let you know when we get to the top of the last hill. Here we go. Final turn. Top of the hill. 230 degrees. 210 on the transmission. 17 miles an hour. The old girl's gonna do it. 6,000 foot peak, 7% grade, 50 year old truck, gasoline engine with an automatic. About as gutless as you can get. But this old girl's gonna make it home. Unbelievable. Super proud of her. We're gonna stop at the top and let her cool off. Because she has earned it. All right. We made it to the top of the mountain. Woohoo! Okay, you guys don't know how stressed out I've been for the last, I don't know, four hours. So it's a two and a half hour drive to go get the truck. We're at four and a half hours now. We're going to be closing in on five and a half hours when we get home. Yeah. But we're going down the mountain on the other side downhill into the valley of home and I could not be happier. Oh look, snow. Okay, let's see if we can get it into a little bit lower gear here. There we go. This is not a truck you want to go fast downhill with. Let me tell you fellas. She's got brakes, they work good, but I'm pretty sure now, okay, I'm gonna weigh it on the scale. What do you guys think it's gonna weigh? Now, keep in mind, I, I told you guys, my ramp truck, the Harvester Hauler, the orange and white truck, with a 3208 Caterpillar diesel, that truck with a full tank of diesel, no car on the back, me not in it, weighs 13,000 pounds. Do you think this one will be more or less? Comment down below. More or less than the ramp truck. All right, guys. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Uh, I'm just going to do a little recap on the fire truck here. We are home from, well, I'll just say the longest short drive I've ever done. <laughs> that uh, This truck was a little over 100 miles away. I think it was about, I want to say it was like 120, 130. It wasn't, it wasn't far. The thing was is there's two sets of mountain passes between here and there. One's at about four or 5,000 feet and one's at like five or 6,000 feet. So you're talking like six, 7% grade, you know, it's, yeah. And this truck, even though it's set up for everything it needs to do, is definitely not set up to climb mountains at any rate of speed. So on the way home, uh, drove great. Everything worked fine, um, didn't overheat. It did get hot. Um, I was running 220, 230 degrees. It's a, uh, sorry, I forgot to tell you guys, 392 V8 gas, and it's an Allison automatic um, 
three speed or four speed it's three speed with overdrive so you know it's it's not the worst by any means but you're talking gasoline engine automatic transmission and this thing with uh no water in it weighs uh, 15,800 pounds so she's a bit piggy so to speak but anyway um it was it, it wasn't the worst like i've had i've had trips where i bought stuff and i broke down on the way home and you know i had overheat issues or I had a tire blowout or whatever. None of that happened with this truck. It, um, it did boil the power steering fluid once and it did push a little bit of coolant out the reservoir once um, on a hill, but not, I mean, nothing that was detrimental. These tires are like, I bet they're 20 years old. Uh, they're nine R20s and it's got the kind of split ring uh, Dayton style wheels. Uh, I don't like them. If uh, if I'm able to do it, I will switch it out to the 22.5 Alcoa aluminums with the um, Pilot Hub or Bud Hub, whatever. Once I can find that'll work with the Lodestar, that's on my plan of things to do. Um, this truck's not going to get hardly any miles on it once it's here, or now that it's here, I should say. So you know, it's going to go to town. It's going to go to the parades. It's going to be here for fire protection and everything else uh, in the summertime. And then it might go to, you know, one of the neighboring towns, which is 10 or 15 miles. So, and there's no hills between here and any of the towns, really. So it's not going to have any hard use going forward, thankfully. But the nice thing is, I know it'll do it. <laughs> but what I'll tell you is, on the way home, when we got on the, the, the big hills... <laughs> It, uh, I think the best I could do was about 17 miles an hour. So thankfully it wasn't real crowded on the road, so I wasn't holding up a ton of people, but there was definitely a line behind the truck several times, and uh, I felt bad about that. And, you know, I pulled off to the slow-moving turnout areas and stuff every time there was one, so... But overall, I'm very happy. Everything on this truck works. Every gauge, every light, the siren, the overheads, all the hoses, all the pumps, all the water, the water cannon, the front water, the PTO winch, everything works. And I have all the service manuals from when the fire truck was built, all the service records from day one, and all the paperwork, the line set ticket, the build sheet, the original cost sheet from the fire outfit company, as well as from International. So. It's really a great vehicle to purchase. And uh, it's got 10,551 miles on it now as of today. That's our actual miles. So no miles, zero miles. Things like almost 50 years old. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of the rescue, re, uh, rehome, bring it home video of this. Um, I did get some driving video in there. So we'll put that in and see if you guys like it. And uh, stay tuned for more videos on this truck. We'll do some fire cannon shooting with the water and we'll do some uh some hose reel stuff and everything else and show you guys how this stuff works in another video thanks for watching please like and subscribe and comment down below what's your favorite thing about a fire truck do you have a fire truck do you think having a fire truck when you have rural property is a good idea i do because i see forest fires around here all the time anyway comment down below and we'll see you guys on the next one